To the channel so just a little talk today uh of what's gonna what's gonna happen so um my brother's transmission went out in this car this is his daily so um before i start the fuel upgrades i'll be uh doing a walkthrough video of how to swap the transmissions and these um i'm going to pull the motor and transmission together when i do it so I'll give you a step-by-step -step how I go about doing that because I get asked that a lot. So stay tuned for that. And <clears throat> once we get that done, we will begin the uh, fuel upgrades for uh, Hellboy. The Hellcat video went pretty crazy. And I know it went crazy due to a lot of people probably underestimating my capabilities. Um... There was some good amount of people that said, you know, positive things. And there was a good amount of people that said negative things. And a lot of the negative things also probably just wasn't even said. Which makes me want to do this even more. Because I love it when people tell me what I can't do. Because then I'm going to prove them wrong again. Now, nowhere would this ever be a drag pack or would it ever be a thousand wheel horsepower. And it may be, that's a big maybe, be able to go up against a, a red eye. I doubt it. But it will be the Hellcat. And a lot of people that said the negative stuff about my car don't even know what's done to the car. And don't know the capabilities of a 3800 because, mind you, the 3800, used, it was originated in the Grand National. And there's Grand Nationals out there making over a thousand wheel. So, some of them don't even know that <coughs> they still think this thing got the factory supercharger on it, which is hilarious. And if they knew anything about modifying cars, when you don't have fuel or you don't have a lot of timing, you're not going to make a lot of power, no matter what parts you have on your motor. I have timing and fuel holding this car back right now. Those of you that know about the car know that's for real. So, I can't wait till I do part two so I can laugh them. But then, even then, they'll be like, <laughs> uh, it's still slow. You can, Like I said, you still have a 15 wheel, 1,500 wheel horsepower car and still be called slow. So, I'm only doing this. I don't even have to do this. I'm doing this for justification for myself because it's, it's like a, a thing on my... Um, uh, what you call it, my uh, bucket list, that I want to be able to be the Hellcat with my car. And I know I can. I know I can. It's just going to take more fuel. It's all it needs. It's just thirsty. And I can't wait to prove everybody wrong on that. So I'm pumped about this build. Pumped. Let me go ahead and show my good old engine bay. For all the new subscribers, welcome to the channel. So those has been asking me if it's a uh, supercharged and centrifugal charge. No, it's just it's an NA top here. Okay, it doesn't have the factory M90 no more, and it's got a no a Paxson Nova 2000. 
centrifugal supercharger. It's cog driven and it has an air to air intercooler, which you see a thick boy right there. And uh, so on the smallest pulley I could put on it, 2.6. This right here drives, drives the blower. So if you do your research, <coughs> you would know that this is a thousand horsepower blower. And if you follow the channel, you know I put a billet impeller on it, so now it's a 1250 horsepower blower. Now I'm not saying my car's gonna make that much horsepower, but this thing is highly capable of making my motor make 750 where I wanted to because this motor's built for that. Now, as far as the transmission is concerned, the, the old F23, if you can look right there, the old F23, I don't want to push this no more than 750 wheel because nobody knows the... Um, what these transmissions is capable of because nobody pushed it like I am. So we're about to find out. I'm taking it to my clutch because it starts slipping. My, and I got a spec stage three plus clutch on there right now. So this is my other F23 that uh, this one I will get built. I found a guy in Maryland that does them. So this one will get built and then when I do get it built, I'm going to run a dual disc clutch on this one. So, yeah. And for those that's asking, this has the same bell housing as a 3800. It's a 02, 2000 to 2002 Cavalier or Sunfire with the 2200 SFI non equal tech motor. They got the same bell housing as a 3800. So, this will bolt right on. Okay. And as far as like flywheels, you would use the 3800 supercharged for a Fiero from spec. It's an aluminum bolt right on with F body 3800 manual bolts. And then get the Fiero uh, four speed clutch. That's what I use. So everything's, I got a video explaining all the stuff you need. And uh part that needs to be upgraded in that video is you could use a passenger side uh, 4T65E non-HD CV axle for the driver's side and then you will have to get a modified 32 inch long shaft for the passenger side which is this is my spare one right here so it's got a Grand Prix non-HD on both sides so that goes in the transmission that goes to the hub bearing they're both the same so just a little reference for you what to do now <clears throat> I'm going to uh, wash my cars today and then do some rearrangement get the black car back here in the back in the operation station and uh, once we get that car done then we're gonna move on to getting Hellboy back here and getting his fuel system done so I can shut a lot of people up for 2025 so my ultimatum for next year is I'm going to run some Hellcats and I want to go to streetcar takeover and I want to race um, the guys from ZZP. Um, it's not a grudge race. It's just something I want to do. So that's my ultimate, that's my ultimate goal for 2025. I hope all you new subscribers stick along for the ride. And uh, that's pretty much it. Um, Yeah, so let's uh let's shut some people up for twenty twenty five. I'll catch you guys on the next one.